sometimes the best way to help yourself is to help others. Residents in the Amani neighborhood in Milwaukee have seen great success with that approach. Tony Atkins talked to them about the Amani Block by Block program. The Amani neighborhood in Milwaukee stretches from 35th to 15th streets and from Capitol Drive to North Avenue. Barbara Smith has lived here a long time. About 20 years. In that time, home ownership has fallen and many of the homes are showing their age. Community leaders say abandoned properties became a problem, including one dubbed the Critter House. That house became infested with every type of free roaming rodent, animal, cat dog, you name it, it lived there. Barber says over the years, plenty of organizations came in to spruce up the neighborhood, but residents didn't have a lot of trust in those groups. You know, so many promises made, uh, they come in and they, they do something. Um, and they were satisfied with that something, and then they were gone. It's part of the reason Barbara helped found Amani United several years ago. It's a group representing the neighborhood's interests for people who might not be able to attend local government meetings. We are here. We are standing up for ourselves. We just need your assistance to get some of the things that we want done. The voice of Amani United was heard and the Amani Block by Block program was created in 2019. Marcia Harris with Dominican Center says our organization came together with the Northwestern Mutual and Ezekiel Community Development Corporation to make it happen. We firmly believe that the residents, uh, while they're closest to the challenges in this community, that also makes them closest to the solutions. And those solutions vary from neighbor to neighbor. It might be legal advice for people inheriting property or dealing with citations. It might be finding grants to help pay for repairs. But Jim Guyard says it also might be teaching people to make those repairs themselves. It's an awesome feeling. It's a great accomplishment, and they want more of it. Barbara says that's especially important, giving people the tools to help themselves. If you come in and do it for us, that that's wonderful, that's great, but it won't be sustained because we, we don't, you didn't equip us, you didn't give us the tools that we needed to, uh, to keep it going, to sustain it. Building a new building and painting a new building, that's not revitalizing. Revitalizing is when you're energizing the people, making them believe in themselves, making them trust each other. One person have pride in their home is great, but when it becomes contagious, it becomes our block has an expectation. Our block, we own it, we're proud of it. Barbara admits there is a long way to go. Amani didn't get to where it is overnight, but she's confident and proud. And we're gonna reach the ultimate goal, which is revitalizing not only these properties, but the residents as well. Good to know. And the program has only completed one block so far, but that block by block name really gives away the rest of the plan. Leaders with the program say they are excited to start to work on another street in the Amani neighborhood.